Sidemen, number three. Um, like I said to you, people thought, oh, I'll be easy number one. But when it boils down to it, official charts is a whole different ballpark. iTunes Store killed it. We smashed it out of the park. There are pretty arguments to say that if we had actually, like, if we had built a campaign and from the get-go, like, released a song this week only and did it the, the actual label, touch it like, chart tactic, if we did it that way, then we probably would have got number one looking at it now. But obviously, we released three weeks earlier and we thought that it was never going to get in the charts ever, right? It was something that kind of happened. But the fact that we got third in official Christmas charts means that at any time in the rest of the year, we'd have been number one. And it also means we're just nuts. As an achievement, it's nuts. It's way too nuts. We beat, we beat Mariah Carey in the Christmas charts. And it's actually crazy, crazy. At the end of the day, it's sick, right? We, we got third. Uh, that baby got first again. But ultimately, both those songs raised money for charity. So... Charity wins because we got two big songs uh, for charity going there. Uh, anything that lost here was this or that, really. <laughs> and that was the thing that I was part of. But the way I see it is it's a nice little extra kind of moment slash memory slash record that the sideband can be like, oh yeah, we did this. Like, we're, we're, we're number one authors, but now we have a, a song that says sideband in the top three in the charts. So and then, then, like, I can now claim I'm charting artists. I'm not, though. But I know, I'm, I'm part of a group that's a charting artists. <laughs>